Hi, I'm going to show you a look using all Lime Life makeup or mostly Lime Life. I am a Shinto 4 and a Lime Life foundation, 50% pigment, professional wax based foundation. I'm putting it on with a foundation buffer brush, um, but I do also like using my fingers with it or using um, a blender or a professional sponge. Um, you can see I have some darkness, some hyperpigmentation around my mouth. It blends really nice. It like goes right with your skin. Yeah, it's so it's very easy to customize the color. Do you use a lot? You can use a lot or a little. It's very buildable. That orange is actually from MAC, so that's not a Lime Life color. But I match to my neck, which is what I suggest. Always match your foundation to your neck. Then when you put it on your face, color correct for whatever your needs are, whether it's rosacea or hyperpigmentation. So the orange actually cancels out the darkness. It looks good though. Like it still looks like your regular foundation. Yeah. So you want it to look it like your there. skin only better. So you should not look like you have makeup on. So I color correct over my eyelids too okay, we'll because my skin um, is really thin in those areas. And you can actually see my veins. And then on my cheeks, I have um, some hyperpigmentation from like hormonal. So sometimes I cover it, sometimes I don't. Um, here I'm concealer. just, huh? It's the concealer. Yeah. So this is just a little lighter concealer. Um, just wanted to add a little more depth to, depth to my face. And just blending, which is the key, just always continue to blend. Basically, you have highlighter on even without like actually putting anything on. Yeah, you want to go with the highs and the lows naturally of your face. So these are the darker shades that were created custom for Lime Life by Danessa Myricks. And they are available two colors to a palette as a duo because most people need more than one color really to keep it natural. So if your makeup is looking flat, like your face needs to be like livened up it's probably because you need more than one shade of foundation so lime life really allows you to um, create your own palettes of the exact colors that you need and then you can actually um, use the foundation or the concealer interchangeably that was a setting spray there's two from Lime Life, one is called Oil Strike. If you put it on before your makeup, it keeps you from shining. Um, after the makeup, it just takes down that dewy look a little bit. It also comes in um, something called Time Setter, which doesn't allow the makeup to settle into fine lines and wrinkles. It kind of diffuses the look of fine lines and wrinkles, both created specifically for Lime Life. This pencil is from L'Oreal. I love a skinny brow pencil to really get the hair like. I love the skinny brush. Too. Yeah. And this brush is actually from Michaels. I have a million of them because they're just amazing. They're chiseled. They're flat. You can really get it in there and get a sharp line. So again, trying to mimic it's the look for of Perfect yeah, the hair on your brow. And I'm just cleaning up underneath I and um kind of highlighting while cleaning to up get hair like shade or I two think lighter good. than my foundation and again getting in there and just blending it because you really don't want to see a line of demarcation I love brows it's a nice sharp look too it still looks like your eyebrows, though. Yeah, so that's a lip brush, actually. That's not even a brow brush. These are brow gels. They come clear, light, medium, and dark. I'm using the medium, and again, to just really separate the hairs and make them look more natural. This is just a little bit of uh, no-color powder, um, also by Lime Life, just so that if I have any fallout, I can brush it off later. That is the neutral palette, also created by Danessa Myricks. I love the neutrals. It's never, so clear, right? Yeah. Well, never underestimate the power of a good neutral I palette. Love neutral palette. You could like layer on and it still looks good. Yeah. And you can't really, even if you can't really put your finger on what color 
you can get really good depth of color. And that's like an orange. Um, it's professional eyeshadow, highly pigmented, just a little dab, picks up so much. And you can use it with a damp brush. Gets, you like, can darker. sanitize them. Yeah, so when, when you, you wet it, you can see it's a little darker. So Is I, it dry dark or does it like still keep the like, color? No, so if you dampen it, it'll keep that color. It'll stay true to the color. Unless you buff it out. You can always buff it out. And then that color is sequins from the Bare Metals collection. So there's no pieces of glitter in it. It's just oh, like yeah. illuminating. And that like goes on like butter. I love putting that on my fingers. So I don't have crepey eyelids, but I do have hooded lids. So it does add some dimension going in there with that damp brush and that orange. What did you put? What is that you just put on? That is just the lightest shade in the neutral palette just so that... Oh, it's bright. not like a stark mm -hmm. contrast where the color ends. I kind of blend it up to the brow. This is just a damp brush, that same chisel brush from it's Michaels. perfect for eyeliner. Too, yeah. Brush. It's for everything. And I don't even think it's $2 from Michaels. Um, it's just um, a damp brush and the brown Lighting. eyeshadow. And this is the perfect mascara, one of the best sellers, usually either number one or number two every single month. And I love it because I don't wear faux lashes usually. And so this gives me volume and lengthens and it has little natural fibers in it and you can just literally just continue to build it up. You can see it already like compared to the other. Yeah. Side. I love that mascara, it's so nice. So I bend the brush a little bit and that helps to really get in there and to grab each lash and then like wiggle it and pull it up. That gives you more volume. So really I could like sit there and just like do that all day. And it doesn't like dry weird like spider legs. You know when like, some of them dry out and it just looks crinkly. Yeah. It goes on good. So this is just buffing that powder off. And I don't usually do a whole... Um, mascara on my bottom lash but if I do I kind of just do it in the front and this is the highlight palette it's really light comes in a bunch of different colors and I love it because you can layer and it's so clean you can tell yeah it really layers it nice it doesn't look like cakey yeah it looks like the sun hit it like. so I did that really light white color and then a, like a gold over it and it just really looks natural and kind of goes with everything. So these are, this is a bronzer palette. Again, all these um, bronzer colors were created by Danessa Myricks to just really give a good selection. So I like to use them with a natural face because they just go on so nice as blush. So I did the light color to a little highlight and then I went into the medium bronzer and now just to add a little bit more i love blush so this is like a little bit more um of like that terracotta color this is actually the blush and then i do kind of take it all over the face lightly just to balance out the color so that your eye doesn't immediately go oh, to the cheek too, like, so i put it on like the points of my forehead i put it a around my mouth mm -hmm. A little bit like around the bridge of the nose. Not enough to really tell. But Just if you put bit. the picture side by side, you could tell it would look more balanced. This is I love that color. color 203 in the sheer like lipstick. Lip. And then I added chocolate ganache in the liquid lip color around it. My top lip is darker than my bottom, but I usually don't try and hide that. I just put the color on. So um, in the middle of this, I cleaned the brush and then went back over with the 203 after. It's like a salmon -y color. It makes your lips look fuller, though. Yeah. So put the light lighter color, keep the lighter color in the middle. And so that is it. I love it. It's so nice. So yeah. that's more of a natural yeah. palette like color. Yeah. It blends in with your like, actual skin. 